Today I wanted to demonstrate my homemade oxalic acid vaporizer. Uh, basically what I use is a, uh, a metal cap that is used in chain link fence posts. Uh, that seemed to be a really nice size for holding the oxalic acid. Uh, on the bottom of that I uh, drilled a hole and uh, inserted into it a Bosch glow plug. And uh, uh, on the other side I mounted it with uh, Velcro so that it could be used in a uh, screen bottom board and what I've done is I've made a uh, little piece of hard board with the appropriate hole drilled into it that slides into the uh, screen bottom board and then um, what I do is I take the uh, cup and I'm just going to use a little bit of water here for demonstration purposes and I have that set up so that it fits onto the bottom of the bottom bottom board. Uh, this is assuming you can reach underneath uh, your, the hives uh, that you have. And then for a demonstration purposes today, I just have it uh, hooked up to a battery charger. Uh, but basically, you know, you can use a, uh, a small battery uh, that you have uh, uh, for your tractor or lawn tractor or whatever you might have. Um, and uh, what I'm doing here is uh, uh, starting to heat it up and uh, we'll try to do a time here. Uh, it's been about maybe uh, 10 seconds or so since I've had it hooked up to the charger. Um, takes a little while for the glow plug to start warming things up. But in like a minute or maybe a minute and a half, uh, you know, we'll receive enough heat into the cup and uh, it will start uh, the vaporization process. And what's nice about this design is the, uh, the bottom of the hive is, is completely uh, closed up. So you would have to close up your entrance and any other holes that you might have in your hive. And uh, as you can see right now, the, uh, the water has started to vaporize. So you would basically leave it in here several minutes, uh, let the uh, oxalic acid vaporize, and I believe the recommend, recommendation is to uh, keep the hive closed up for 10 or 15 minutes so that uh, there's a good coating uh, on the bees and that would uh, take care of your varroa mites. Uh, thanks for watching.